So today I'm going to show you how I achieved this effect. Hey guys, I'm Raphael and welcome to the channel where our goal is to always fix it in camera and then finesse it in post, ultimately helping you achieve better creative and financial results faster. So to achieve that effect, it's going to require three things, your camera, lens cap, and an external recorder. I'm using the Ninja 5 and a Canon EOS R. Make sure you're in video mode. I'm in manual right now. On the back of most cameras, you'll have an info or display button, which when toggled, give you the info that comes up. And depending on the camera model that you have, you may need to look for the shooting info display and to make sure that it's being output by the HDMI into the external recorder. Once you have it outputting to your external recorder, just hit record and make sure that your lens cap is on. That way you're recording a black frame. You can see all the display info. That way, when I go into the menu, I can get through all the cards. So now everything that I'm seeing, you're seeing it as well. I'm just displaying it over the screen. So I was able to record at the same time. I just had the monitor off screen and I'm recording the menu as I go through it and I'm able to talk through it. So that's step one. Now let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how I finished off the process. I will show you how to do this in Final Cut and Premiere. First, Final Cut. You'll need one free plugin for Final Cut to make this work. It's the Alex 4D XYZ Rotate Effect plugin from alex4d.com. I'll leave a link in the description. When you're on the site, definitely check out the other tools and plugins that he has for Final Cut. You can also use the Add Motion plugin from FX Factory if you already have it. It's a very powerful plugin that adds some much needed functionality to Final Cut. After you have either plugin installed and your footage imported, place your A roll clip on the timeline and find the matching audio moment in both clips and sync them up. Once you have it outputting, and once you have it outputting, once you have it outputting, make sure you cover the entire section and repeat if you have multiple clips. Then select all the clips and make a compound clip by pressing Option G. Then double click the compound click to enter it. Select the menu clips alone and make a new compound clip from those. This will be important in one moment. Then go into that compound clip, select everything, scale it down. Go back to the previous compound clip, select the menu layer and change the transfer mode to screen. Go to your effects panel and find the Alex 4D Rotate XYZ effect. Adjust the Y axis to rotate it in 3D space to your liking. Then using transform, position it into place and keep adjusting until you like it. Next, we'll adjust the exposure a bit to bring down the shadows and make the highlights pop a little bit more. If you have the Add Motion plugin, it's easy to set up. Add the plugin. Change move to hold A, open the rotation parameter and adjust the Y rotation and scale and move into position. You can also do this effect without using a plugin using the distort parameter, but it's harder to control and get perfect. You can't really animate it well if you wanted to. The major thing you need to watch out for is having conflicting background objects that make it hard to see clearly. So in this case, I'll use a solid black layer with a custom color to match the TV in the background to block out the R logo. Adding a mask and feathering the edges to blend it a little bit better. Then you edit it all together and the menu follows your A roll perfectly. Now in Premiere, the process is almost the same, but you don't need any plugins. After you import the footage and create a new sequence, find the matching points in the clips and sync them up. And once you have it outputting, Select all the clips and nest them together by right clicking. In the effects panel, search for basic 3D, add it to the clip. Rotate and scale the clip and position it to where you like it. Change the transfer mode to screen. Then add Lumetri color to bring down the shadows and make the highlights pop. Then copy the clip and right click on the next clip to paste the attributes. I recommend disabling the audio from the recorder footage, unlink it and delete it once it's all synced up. And the same thing as in Final Cut, be mindful of any distracting elements in the background. Here I add a color mat and select the color from the TV. Create a mask, and feather out the edges. then edit as you see fit. So if you like that effect in the video, make sure you check out this playlist where I talk about a whole bunch of other tips 
to help you make content better and faster. As always, thanks for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm Rafael. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.